Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I thought I would do a tour of my new photographing setup here and show you guys some things I picked up recently, photograph a few things, and just basically list with me today um, because I am way behind on listing. I have fallen behind because just life got crazy the last week or so. So I really need to catch up on my listing. I picked up some really great stuff on Saturday. So we'll do a little haul. I'll show you my new photo setup and we will just list together. But first, for those of you that might not know me, my name is Ashley. I am a mom of two little boys and I sell on eBay and Amazon part-time while also being a mom to them and trying to keep the house from falling apart. So that's my main goal. And I love sharing my journey with all of you guys because reselling on eBay and Amazon really on a part-time basis and make a great income. And if you go full-time, even better. Okay, so to start, first off, my photo setup used to just be downstairs in natural light. And I did that because it was just easy to do, super cheap. I had a fluffy rug. I'd put a flower actually, it's right here actually. Hi. And um, I would just flat lay everything. And it is really fast. And I still really like doing it that way. However, I was limited to daytime to list my items because I needed natural light, which of course isn't ideal if you are. A busy mom and you need to work at night sometimes or mornings early mornings so I saw this um, photo booth set up in Denali's you might know her YouTube and Instagram as El Ducho Thrift she is awesome I will link everything down below for her but I saw this set up in one of her stories and I was like oh my gosh this could be the answer that I've been looking for because I've never been satisfied with my lighting setup completely that's why I have preferred natural daylight so instead of having several big lights shining at the wall with a photo backdrop and everything, which can make things just a little complicated and if you have a really small space, I, I mean, I just work in my office, it can be a little limiting. So what I've done is I bought this photo booth, which is it has everything built into it. It's huge. So let me go ahead and take you on a tour of it. Okay, I'm standing in front of it because I can't, it's like, completely blurring me out when I try to stand in front of it. But let me turn the camera around and show you. I mean, already, hello, ooh, this lighting is nice for an old lady like me, but let me show you. Okay, so this is the photo booth, as you can see, top to bottom. Um, I wanna say it's about seven feet tall, and it's got this built-in vinyl photo paper. I do hang this little thing here so that I can hang a hanger on it. I have this white wooden hanger for just regular clothing items and then this very simple plastic one for pants and shorts and that's kind of what I do. So I also use, I mean because you guys know I have used measuring tape for my photos in the past. Instead I'm using <laughs> these yardsticks. I know it's not the greatest, um, but it does allow me to photograph the measurements still. And that's really key for speed when it comes to going as quickly as possible. Okay, so for example, this hanging like Lucky Brand Aztec open front cardigan, I just hang it on the hanger and you can see the lighting. So I actually don't have this on all the way. Let me turn this on all the way. Okay, there we go. This is with all the lights on. So you can see like it's lined completely with lights everywhere. It does require a ton of outlets. So I have a power strip on this side and a power strip on this side. So you can see that like it does require quite a few outlets. But with all the lights on, it is pretty bright. And the shadows really aren't that pronounced, especially when I use like a photo editing app like PicTap Go. I'm able to brighten it up and that definitely helps my pictures a little bit. And then I just take my me my ruler and like when I'm ready to measure, I will hold it up, hold it at the bottom. And again, I need to like, this is just for example, I still need to really use my sweater shaver on this sweater, but I will hold it up against the garment and then take a picture of this measurement so that I know it's 34 inches long. And then I will do the same with a smaller ruler right here for the back. Um, and that's been working out okay. It's been helping me list pretty quickly. And it's I'm really happy with how this setup is working as far as like getting work done at night. 
Okay, so again, I turned off half the lights because it's just so bright that I can't even show up on camera. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I've been doing it. And then for pants, I will hang pants in there. I will take measurements of the inseam and the waist, and that's about it. It's been good so far. I mean, I don't think it's as fast as flat lay, but I'm liking the cleanness and the crispness of the pictures. I know eBay harps on having an all-white background a lot of the time, so it is nice to have an all-white background, but flat lay doesn't look great with everything, so... I do find that sometimes I need to use my natural daylight in my old setup, and if I need to go really quickly, I use my old setup. I just put shoes right on the bottom of the light box, and they show up really well just with this same light box, so I don't need a separate shoe light box or anything. Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, I, I don't know if I've seen an increase or decrease in sales or anything. Sales have been really good, and I've been seeing things sell that have this new setup, so... I'm taking that as a good sign. I really like it. Yes, it's big, but it does work in the evenings and it helps me accomplish more at random times of the day. Okay, so now let me show you some of the things that I picked up on Saturday that I'm planning on listing tonight. <laughs> I really have to get my act together. This is an Anthropology Sleeping on Snow single button cardigan. Sleeping on Snow tends to have like hand crocheted or hand knit sweaters, sweater dresses, um, wools, things like that. And it's sold pretty well for me in the past. It is an anthropology brand. So I'm hoping to sell this for around $30, um, but we will see. This likewise is an anthropology super long knit cardigan. It's Postmark is the brand. You can always tell by the tag here. I know some, for some of you, Anthropology doesn't sell that great anymore or it sells for a lower price. Anthro still does fine for me if I buy it at the right price and if I anticipate that it'll sell at the right price. So super long duster cardigans like this tend to do okay. This is a brand new with tags, soft surroundings, super soft knit sweater. It is, like I said, brand new and soft surroundings is a really decent brand for me, especially brand new. So I'm hoping to sell this for around $30 maybe. This is an Anthropology Moth, very, it's just similar to what I showed you before, <laughs> a knit crochet vest. And it's like a duster vest, it's longer. Um, Moth does okay for me as well. It's not like the best Anthropology brand, but it does decently well. And these kinds of vests that are flattering on all sizes also do pretty well for me. These are some can-can jeans. They are button fly, high-waisted, raw hem. So that's kind of why I picked them up. Can-can isn't like the hottest brand ever. I believe it's sold at Buckles or even maybe Maurice's. But the pairs that I've picked up in the past have sold really fast for around $20, not including shipping. So I'm excited to see what this sells for. Again, it's a style that I think is a little more trendy right now. We'll see. And then that Lucky Brand Drape Front Aztec Cardigan. It needed a little bit of sweater shaving and I still need to do that. But it looked really cute and unique and even though Lucky Brand can be hit or miss for me, comps looked really decent on that style. So I went ahead and I picked up because it was only $3. This is the J. Crew Women's Downtown Field Jacket. I've sold this many times before. Um, it always does well for me. It is like, it's got four pockets, metal buttons, it is full zip. And this sells on J. Crew's website for $148. I'm typically able to get $40, $45 for it. So really excited to see this. Again, I've sold it several times before. This is a Fabletics, like kangaroo pocket, oversized cowl neck sweater. Um, it's heathered and it's in a great size. It's in 2XL. So that's kind of why I picked it up. Fabletics, again, can be a little hit or miss, especially if it's just a very simple pair of leggings or a very simple top. But comps on these looked really, really good. And I figured it's just cozy and cute and hopefully someone will want to buy it. This is a Matilda Jane skirt. Matilda Jane is kind of funky prints and patchwork style. It's a clothing brand for both girls and women. This is a women's skirt. Um, it was only a couple dollars. I couldn't pass up Matilda Jane. It's a more desirable brand for younger girls because it has, again, really funky, cute styles. Um, but it's still done decently well when I've bought it to resell for women. So hoping that this does okay again. It was just a couple of dollars, so it was a risk I was willing to take. This is a 
Brave Soul London Tassel Tea. It was just $1. So even though the brand was a little unknown to me, I just thought the style was way too crazy, too cute. I figured someone would want it. So this is just an, an example of an item that I'm going to put in my store for probably $10 to $15 and let it sell quickly. I like to sell a whole wide range of prices. I sell from $10 up to $50, over $100. I just really like a broad mix because these lower dollar sales bring in traffic for the higher dollar sales. That's just at least what I've noticed. These are Banana Republic Avery Fit trousers. They are gingham pattern. They're super funky. Banana Republic, again, is like not something I pick up all the time, but it's super recent. This is a recent style, recent season. Comps online looked really good. They're in excellent condition. So this was an example of, again, like I bend and break my rules all the time. I have general rules I do, but I will bend the rules when it's something that's like a cute, different, unique pattern, recent season, recent style, um, and hopefully these will sell for around $30. These are some Madewell Buttonfly High Rise cropped wide leg pants. And yes, they're in a tiny size, they're in a size 25, but this style seems to do really well on eBay and Poshmark, so I'm hoping to sell these for around $25 to $30. Madewell is definitely hit or miss, but this style in particular seems to be more in demand right now, so I was excited to find these for just a few dollars. These are some Danskos, and I have said in the past that I won't pick up Danskos unless they're really unique. And I picked these up at the Goodwill outlet. They had wear like a little bit of dirt, so I had to scrub them down and polish them up, but they look really good now. These are just the classic tooled leather Dansko clogs, and comps on these looked to be around $40. So I figured for bins prices, which are generally a dollar per pound-ish, these would be a really good pickup and hopefully sell for around $40. Again, I don't pick up Dansko unless it is really unique and definitely more of a special style. So yeah, those are some of the more exciting items that I picked up. It's not everything that I picked up, so I'll just keep that in mind. I have more. I just picked the ones to share with you guys that were maybe a little bit more interesting. And now I'm going to list them. So come along and list with me in my giant, enormous light box setup. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that it helped you in some small way. Um, if you do like this light box, I did link it in the description below. It's not an affiliate or anything. It's just an FYI, because I'm sure I'll get asked. Yeah, my final thoughts are it's really great in a pinch when I just need to get some work done and it's too dark outside to photograph in natural light. So thanks again for watching, you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Subscribe to my channel for videos on how I sell on eBay and Amazon and just everything in between. And like this video if you want more content along this line. So as always, you guys take care and I will catch you next time. Thank you.